everyone and thank you so much for watching. So today's video is going to be a spring makeup tutorial. This is my very first makeup tutorial for this season and it's going to be on this look right here. It's basically just like a bronzy kind of bright look for the springtime and I'm loving bright colors right now so this kind of a couple of my favorite colors like um, the orchids and the orange and the bronze. Um, so if you guys want to see how to create this look just stay tuned. Okay, so I'm first going to start off with applying a primer and this is going to help minimize the appearance of any pores or any fine lines. Next, I'm going to be applying my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation and I've talked about this in a past review so I'll link it down below. I love this stuff. I'm just going to use this to even out my skin tone and I'm going to apply it with my F80 brush. So I'm just going to dot it as you guys can see a little bit's going to go a long way and I'm just going to go ahead and buff that in into my skin. Next, using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, I'm going to be going ahead and applying that to minimize and reduce my dark circles. And I'm just going to buff that in with this Real Techniques brush. And I love using this to apply my concealer because I feel it really um, gives me a flawless look. I'm going to set everything with my Touch of Veil from Bare Minerals. Onto the eyeshadows, I'm going to be using my Coastal Suns 252 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to first be applying this really pretty orchid color to all of my lids. And this is going to serve as my base color. And then we're going to go ahead and blend in the rest of the colors with this. Just applying it with a flat eyeshadow brush from Sigma. Next I'm going to take this really burnt orange color and I'm going to apply this to my crease with a fluffy eye shadow brush. Combination of these two colors, it kind of reminds me of a really pretty beach sunset. I'm going to be applying this really bronzy color to the outer corners of my eyes and this is just going to help bring everything together and also tone down the really um, bright hues of the other two colors and just kind of make everything really blend. For my highlight color, I'm going to be using this vanilla color for my brow bones and also the inner tear ducts. Next I'm going to be taking this teal color and I'm going to be applying this to my lower lash line and this is just going to add a pop of color to my makeup look. Now I'm going to be lining my eyes with a liquid liner and I'm just going to be applying a thin line For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara and I love this because it really helps to separate my lashes and it also makes them look really, really long. Now onto my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Pencil and I'm just going to be using this to fill in any gaps and just kind of give my brows some more definition and shape. For bronzer, I'm going to be applying the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer in the shade Park Avenue Princess. And I'm going to be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks and also to my forehead and to my jawline. I've been loving this bronzer. I think it really adds the perfect amount of warmth to the skin. And I really think it helps to give you that sun-kissed glow. For 
blush, I'm going to be using the MAC Powder Blush in Love Cloud. And this is a pretty bubble gum pink color. And I really like this just because it adds the perfect like flush look to the skin. And for highlight, I'm going to be using MAC Soft and Gentle. And I'm going to apply this just to the cheekbones. On two lips, I'm going to be applying my favorite chapstick at the moment. This is the Cake Batter Chapstick. And next, I'm going to be lining my lips with Max Lip Pencil in the color Soar. It's like a pretty mauve pink color. And I'm just going to use this to fill in my lips. For a lipstick, I'm going to be using Max Viva Glam 2 lipstick. And this is a pretty like natural nude. Um, I really like this. It goes on very, very smooth. Now I'm going to top it off with Max Cream Sheen Glass Lip Gloss in the color Boy Bait. And this is also a pretty just kind of like a nice nude color. Okay, so that was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like tutorial videos, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget up. to subscribe and also follow me on my social media sites. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!